ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone. Yay! <laughs> now we would like to start International 1M2M Hackathon, an extension of the Six Mobius Developer Event Hour Ceremony with participants from all over the world. I would like to appreciate all contenders for their work and creative ideas since the autumn. Your passion and hard work finally come to fruition today. I'm also very excited and nervous and can't wait to see which team will be awarded today. This competition was put together to promote the use of the international IoT standard 1M2M and Catis Mobius, a global IoT platform, and has been run as an international event since last year. This year in 2022, 17 teams from the US, Spain, Austria, France, and Korea advanced into the main competition, and there was a final review last week. Before we start, let me briefly announce you the order of the ceremony today. We will start with the opening remarks from President Shin Hee-dong of Korea Electronics Technology Institute, co-hosting the competition. Before we uh, end the congratulatory remarks by Director Kim Jong-sam, Information Security Network Policy Officer at the Ministry of Science and ICT. And then, uh, after the general reviews from the judges, we will move on to the announcement of the winners. We will start with an opening remarks from Shin Hee-dong, the president of Korea Electronics Technology Institute. Please uh, take a look at the video. Let's invite the president of CATI with a big round of applause. President Shin, yeah, thank you. <laughs> President Shin has provided great support for this international competition. Thank you for your warm message for participants. 
Next, we will move on to the congratulatory remarks by Director Kim Jong Sam, Information Security Network Policy Officer at the Ministry of Science and ICT. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. Kim 현재까지 국내 산업계 널리 보급하고 있습니다. 우리 부와 캐티는 오픈 소스 협의체인 오션의 운영과 소스 코드의 GitHub 공유를 통해 사용자 확산에 주력하여 전 세계 사용자들이 오픈 소스 형태로 캐티의 모비우스를 사용하게 되었습니다. 이에 더 나아가 더 넓은 사용자층을 확보하고 다양한 서비스 아이디어 실현을 위해 작년에 이어 올해에도 원엠투엠 국제 해커톤을 개최하게 되었습니다. 이번에 참가한 세계 각국 17팀의 아이디어와 실제 구현 과정은 모두 나름의 창의성과 독창성을 갖고 있어 매우 인상적이었습니다. 본대 후 이들 성과물의 공유를 통해 더 많은 사용자가 원 M2M과 모비우스에 관심을 갖고 원 M2M 표준 기술의 확산에 기여하리라 생각합니다. 그렇게 이번 대회를 진행함에 있어 캐티와 함께 본 대회를 준비해 주신 SC와 관계기관 여러분들의 노고에도 감사의 말씀을 드립니다. 그리고 마지막으로 2022년 국제 IoT 표준인 원 M2M 표준 제정 10주년을 축하드리고 이와 함께 원 M2M 표준의 제정과 확산을 위해 노력해 주신 관계자 여러분께도 감사의 말씀을 전합니다. IoT 기술이 더 나은 인류의 미래를 가능하게 하는 그 순간까지 우리 모두가 함께 노력해 나가길 기대하겠습니다. 감사합니다. Thank you, Director Kim, for your words of encouragement and support to the participants. Now, we will now invite three judges to share their general reviews of the competition. First, we have technical expert Xavier joining us from European Telecommunication Standards Institute in France. Um, hello and, and um, thank you for welcoming us today here. Um, my first uh, message would be to first thank uh, Katie uh, for uh, being a host of this event and for uh, inviting Etsy on this ride uh, for the second international 1M2M hackathon. Uh, this is a very interesting event that showcases one of the many ways uh, that the 1M2M community chooses to uh, reach out to the developer community. Uh, we have uh, plenty of uh, content that we uh, uh, develop in order to help uh, developers and users of 1M2M to get on board, but definitely uh, bringing people together and having them um, uh, really uh, use the, the standard is the best way for uh, them to realize how much this tool is really helping them to deliver the IoT applications and services that, that will be uh, the future of uh, IoT. And uh, they can really experience firsthand that the standard is here to help them to make their life easier and help them focus on the real uh, added value in the applications. And uh, uh, this is a, a really good experience in, in our opinion. I would really like to thank the, all the participants for the great effort and the great ideas they have put in, the, in their, their projects and uh, I'm sure today we'll see a lot of very interesting results uh, from this uh, community. And uh, in the end, uh, I want to thank the overall uh, 1M2M community and we have many experts in the room today that make this journey possible, now celebrating the 10th year and with all partners in 1M2M, we are here to uh, bring this event forward. And, and I, uh, this is going to be very exciting. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Xavier, for your general reviews about the competition. Next, uh, there will be a general review from Bob Flynn, the mentor of this competition. Once again, I want to give thanks to Ketty and Etsy for hosting this international 1MDM hackathon. I find this event to be valuable not only to the 1MDM community, but also to the students that are working in this project and, and, and standards in, in general. Those of us who have been working in standards for a long time realize the benefit of working with international colleagues to, to develop standards that are you know, better in, in general. And now we're offering through this international hackathon, we're, we're bringing this experience to the students who are participating with that. And I think there's great value in, in that for, for both one and the M community and, and the students as well. Um, the students bring new insights and new ideas that some of us you know, may not have thought of before. So, um, and, it, and that happened through several teams you know, who, were, who were participating in the projects. They, they, they identified things that one and them didn't, didn't see before and things that we were able to take into, into contributions that we'll be using in, in the one and the M standards. Uh, the ideas and the creativities that I've seen from the student projects were, were, were amazing and you all did a really, really good job and, and I congratulate you all for that. Um, and again, thank you for participating and thank you for hosting this event. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for your comments and evaluation. Uh, last, we'll have a general review by Jung Seung Myung, a senior researcher at CATI. Let's also ask for his general reviews about the competition. Hello, my name is Seung Myung Jung, and I really thank for for the setup because now we have a professional beautiful MC not me anymore and uh, you remember that I was running the uh, one hour kickoff uh, event or the meeting by myself so it was a not good uh, memory anyways again my name is Sung Myung Jung working for Kerry and they uh, uh, provide a special thanks to Katie and I also thank to my company Katie because they really supported this event uh, a lot and I also worked for uh, one team that's what I can say because we really uh, care about one team we love one team that's why we uh, put a lot of energies on this event together so I really appreciate all the one team kind of colleagues so and I also appreciate all the teams uh, finished the project and participated in this hackathon uh, event. And I the special thanks to the mentors like Bob and the other guys who provide all the technical uh, support and the coordinators who supported their team locally. And again, the Cathy colleagues, I uh, that's the special thanks. And from the administrative point of view, since this is the second hackathon event from the last year, uh, I think uh, it's uh, getting a better shape because uh, last year it was uh, kind of difficult for us to run the show remote and it was two months kind of a developed event, which is not so easy to manage uh, remotely, but it's getting better uh, for sure. So we wish to make it even better and we are kind of expecting the next event next year so there should be the announcement when it gets ready to uh, announce as a preliminary version and there will be the more technical support by me and the other guys like Bob and there will be more promotion so we can bring uh, the other uh, people in the world as well and we will uh, try to have more get-together events. It should be online again, but it should be more uh, intuitive and uh, how do I say more attractive and yeah, it should be more uh, events for us to get to know each other. And most importantly, uh, this is the kind of agenda that I have been having for uh, two years uh, to preparing this event. So the next event would be the 
uh, hosted in the first half because the last one and the, this one, the second one, we host the uh, hackathon event for two months starting from the beginning of uh, December and end in the end of November and everyone is uh, busy for the year end. So it is not so easy for us to uh, support the event. It is not so easy for all the participating uh, teams, the members to put their full 100% uh, energy. So we are considering to have the event in the first half, but it is not decided yet. So uh, we will make the announcement really soon when it is ready. Just lastly, I really thank you all the US teams and Danke Shen, Austrian team, and Mucho Gracias, Spanish team, and Shukriya for Indian teams, and Kamsamida, Hanguk team. Kwasamida. Thank you so much for your reviews. As uh, the judges said, we could appreciate the excellence of the ideas of this competition and I could not imagine how hard to pick winners through these wonderful, talented teams. Uh, finally, we come to the highlight of the program, the announcement of the winners. I know it's been a long waiting for everyone who joins us offline and online and me too. I'm also very excited and nervous. Before the announcement, let me briefly explain the awards. As you can see on the screen, there are three award categories, and in total, eight teams will be honored. Best Achievement Award for five teams, second prize for two teams, and the first prize for only one team. All contenders uh, develop outstanding ideas using Mobius 3.1 and 1M2M and it must have been truly hard to pick winners. When their names are called, please give them a big hand and cheers. You may also chat on Zap and feel free to share your comments with us. Okay, we will first present the Best Achievement Award to five teams. The Best Achievement Award is honored by our internal and external sponsors, and each winning team will win 1 million Korean won, which is about 730 US dollar or 710 euros. The first award is the Best Education Award from the Korea Internet of Things Society. I'm excited to see the name of the first winner. The Best Education Award goes to... The award goes to Penn State Lights from USA with a cellular based IoT. Congratulations! Please give them a round of applause. Congratulations. The second award uh, is the Best Technology Award from Telecommunications Technology Association. Let's see who the next lucky winner is. The next winner is, congratulations, the award for the Best Technology category goes to Athena from India with Street Life Automation. Let's give a round of applause. Congratulations. Okay, the third award is the Best Idea Award from Korea Intelligent IoT Association. Who will be the next? Which team will be win the third award? The third award goes to, congratulations, Wu Wadi from Korea with SPM. Let's give a round of applause. Congratulations once again. Okay, the fourth award, next we will go to the fourth award. The fourth award is the Best User Application Award from 1M2MTP. The fourth award. Yes, the award goes to Kick Off. Congratulations, they are from Korea with Safety Service for Electric Scooter. 
Yeah, please give them a big hand once again. Congratulations. And next, finally, the best device application award from Etsy. The winner of the last best achievement award is Remote Driver. Congratulations. The team is from USA with Robocar. Let's give our big hand. Congratulations. Congratulations to all. All right, let's give another big hand to the five winners of the Best Achievement Award. Yes, now it's time to announce the second prize, which is honored by Katy and Etsy. It goes to two teams and the price is 2 million Korean won, which is about 1460 US dollar or 1420 euros. Okay, who will be the winner? Who will be the winner? Wow, one of the winners of the second prize is MIO AID. Congratulations, MIO AID from Austria conducted air quality monitoring and was awarded the second prize by Etsy. Yeah, before we interview the winning team, let's watch the video together about the project. Hello, I'm Yuzi. I'm Philip. I'm Ahmed. And I'm Martin. And together we are MIO AID. Hello, this video is organized like this. First, a short introduction and then the demonstration of software implementations before we conclude with our hardware demonstration. Have you ever returned to a lecture hall only to discover what stale air you have been breathing for the last hour? We have had that sensation and want to fix it with our one m 2 m based IoT solution. Hello guys, I now want to give you some insights into our project. We are running our applications on a Raspberry Pi 4B inside the Docker environment. Each application has its uh, own container and its own volume for data. We have created a Docker Compose file to simplify the installation on other systems so one can create all the containers just with the simple command Docker compose up minus D. We are running Potena to have an easy and efficient way for uh, controlling our containers and have some insights into the log files of every application. In Potena, you can see all the containers. Firstly, we have the ECMI CSE, then the Mosquito MQTT broker, then uh, Node-RED for automations and visualizations, and ZigBee to MQTT for communication with our smart LEDs and actuators. Yeah, one major advantage of Potena is that you can start, stop or restart your applications via this web interface, but you can also have a quick look into uh, your log files when you are troubleshooting something. Then we have our ECMI CSE. We have defined some access control policies. Then we have our application entity, the air quality monitoring. Inside the AE, we have containers. Each container represents a room. Inside the rooms, we have flex containers with uh, device classes. For each actuator, smart LED and air quality sensor, there is a flex container we have defined. Uh, inside these device classes, we are using another flex containers with uh, module classes. We are using some default module classes like binary switch or signal strength. And uh, we have also defined our own module classes that are fitting our application purposes better than the defaults. For instance, this uh, color smart LED module class or this air quality sensor module class. Now I want to show you Node-RED. The advantage of Node-RED is the simple structure and control uh, with nodes. Uh, with Node-RED we have tested various 
create, retrieve and update scenarios for our application. The code we've created here is also used in our sensor nodes. Using Node-RED makes it possible to run some easy simulations in our application, even without configured sensor nodes. So we have here our update uh, messages we are sending through MQTT to the ECMI CSE and uh, we can write values directly to the uh, ECMI CSE. We are using MQTT for our communication with ECMI CSE and uh, the Mosquito MQTT broker is defined in our project settings. So we have done this only once. We have also TLS activated. So this has to be done only once and then you can use it in the whole project. We are listening to uh, topics that are important to our air quality monitoring applications via MQTT. These are the uh, 1M2M MQTT topics. We have requests and responses. And uh, we can easily react to a 1M2M response message and use it for our controls and automation. So here is the uh, response node. The MQTT response is coming uh, here. And we can directly control our SIGPI to MQTT devices, for instance, when the LED or the actuator is switched on or when we are changing the color. We have implemented a simple control function when using automatic mode. It, uh, when using automatic mode, the sensor values are controlling the smart LED and the actuator through the automations. But when someone wants to override the automations, he or she can uh, easily switch to the manual mode and control the LED or the actuator via switches or change the color via buttons. We are simulating the behavior of our automations by briefing directly into the sensor. Uh, the values are being updated every 15 seconds. Please stay with me for a moment so I can show you how the automation works. We will brief into the sensor. Yeah, as you know, our word Sarmani is in South Korea and team MIO AID is in Austria. So there are some time differences. They could not uh, join our Zoom interview. So we hope someday we could hear uh, about the project from the team. Congratulations once again. Thank you. All right, it's time to move on to another winner of the second prize, which is sponsored by Katy. I'm excited to see who will grab the another second prize. The award goes to which team will be honored? The award goes to Spectacle from Korea with Smart School Bus. Congratulations! Let's first watch the video of the project before we connect with the winning team.
Let's meet awardees on the screen through the Zoom. Yeah, it was the project about the school bus, and I have a kid uh, who goes to school by school bus every day, so it was even very interesting to me. Okay, let's meet the awardees on the screen. Hello! Yeah, even though we watched the video about your project, but can you briefly explain about the project for us? First of all, our, our project is smart school bus. So it can check sleeping child and, and also we use weight sensor so we can protect child from the accident. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How was your expectation? How do you feel? You won the second prize. Uh, I'm really surprised. So uh, first, I called from the Mobius. So so Mobius said you take an award. So I just like award. <laughs> so what award? So, so she told me you won the second prize, and I just uh, I'm not expected it. So, so I'm so surprised. Congratulations. Uh, were there any special or interesting episode uh, through developing your um, project you want to share with us? Uh, this is a funny story. Uh, since the sensor we ordered came three days before the end of the hackathon, so our entire team gathered and finished it uh, overnight. Uh, when What I'm going to say now is that uh, it only happened one day before the deadline. Uh, one of the services we developed is using the GPS sensor. However, indoors, the GPS sensor did not work if, even if we format and reinstall the Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, we thought it might not work because we executed it indoors. So we went outside with a Raspberry Pi, a laptop for SSH connection, and a very heavy 60,000 milliampere external battery pack. Uh, it is very cold in Korea now and colder at dawn. Uh, in this situation, our team members sat on benches outside the building and proceed with the development while shivering in the cold. So fortunately, when we went outside, the GPS sensor worked successfully. It's really, really regretful. So I think this is the most hilarious part of the preparation process. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, what was the most important thing uh, when developing ideas? So uh, we paid the most attention to organizing the use cases. Uh, we shared our proof subject, but in many cases, uh, it was not consistent how to develop in detail. So therefore, in order to achieve this vision alignment, after organizing the use cases, we started development. Also, we tried to develop all service, services through 1M2M Mobius. Uh, as a result, we realized about NQ, an IoT application used for the Mobius platform and device inter interworking. Uh, and this allowed to us to link GPS, camera, weight sensor, piezo buzzer, etc. Yeah, thank you. Once again, congratulations for your hard work. Congratulations. Okay, now we've come to the final stage of the award ceremony, the first prize. It feels now much more nervous and excited. Who will take the honor of the first prize? Okay, now let me announce the winner. The first prize goes to Blossom from Korea with Fire Situation Monitoring System. Congratulations. The prize money is 3 million Korean won, which is 2210 US dollar or 2150 euros. Uh, before we connect the team of the first prize, we will see the uh, project video together.
Plaza. 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 Okay, let's meet the uh, first winner uh, of the first prize, winner of the first prize through the Zoom, through the screen. Very nervous because they were other great teams and I haven't heard from you until today. So I haven't been able to get a job since yesterday evening. So to be honest, I'm very dumbfounded and very happy right now. Uh, First of all, we, I, would, I would like to say thank you to Professor Kim jae and our teams and many people who supported us. I'd like, also like to say that I learned a lot from the other teams who have put in great projects. Yeah, your professor would be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any interesting episodes you want to share us? So, pardon? Uh, is there any um, episode, special episode you want to uh, share with us? I think I had most fun making the demo video. It was a very pleasant experience to think about how to make a video while thinking about the video continuity all together. When we started in the evening and stayed up all night to make and finish the video editing, we were really tired and exhausted, but I was happy to think that it was all over. Um, how did you come up with the idea? We really got an idea from our... Maybe fire authority system that we have seen at the news, news maybe. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any plan to use prize money? The prize money is 3 million Korean won, right? 
we're gonna use it for happy meal for our teams and maybe share to our team members for all. <laughs> you have more team members, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, congratulations once again. Congratulations. Well, uh, eight teams won the awards, and we've looked at the projects of the two top two awards with their remarks. It was such a meaningful, valuable time with many brilliant ideas. I hope this event has been an opportunity to gain meaningful experience and to be the way for future growth. We sincerely uh, appreciate to participants from all over the world. You are the young, talented people who will lead future generation. We cheer up uh, for your bright future, and we wish you the best of luck in your future research and development. Yes, there is some time differences and some difficulties in, in connecting online. I appreciate to all participants once again. Thank you so much for your effort and your time. 감사합니다. Thank you very much.